Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back to yet another FNAF news video. I'm sorry, it's been a bit since the last one. I know, I know, I've been busy. We're going into August. It is FNAF's anniversary month. We've got a lot of banger videos coming out. But because we have not had a FNAF news video in quite a while, we're actually going to have two coming out this week. This first one and also another one where we talk about some books, some more merchandise, things like that. But in today's video, we still have a bunch of news to go over. Once again, some merchandise news, and we also have some very exciting news on the Fazbear fanverse. So if you're excited, please hit the like button. If you're new, subscribe. It means the world to me and let's just hop into the news starting off with some very surprising the joy of creation ignited collection news we have nixon showing off some early previews and whips of some of the projects he's working on in regards to the ignited collection the first one you're seeing here he says here is a little test to see if i can get the ignited material to have more interesting damage this is done by painting an opacity mask and a burn layer around it this is pretty cheap but unfortunately lacks real depth the material you see here here is not final. And here is a very basic level generation test I did where I defined a few room types and some corridors. The system will make it so that every time you play a reborn level, which if you do forget T-Jock Reborn is the game where you're just being chased by Freddy around a bunch of different rooms and hallways, you'll get a random layout. All of these are very basic whip assets. In another tweet he says people are asking more about the changes I will be making to the new ignited characters. I found this old video where I tested my idea of adding real-time simulated wires to the models, expect them to have a lot of those. Now, thankfully, Nixon was actually very vocal and engaging with a lot of the comments on these threads, so they will be linked down below in the description if you want to go look at them, find some more interesting info regarding T-Jock. It's frankly just too much to put in a FNAF news video, maybe we'll do a T-Jock dedicated video sometime down the line. But before we move on, I do have to mention this. Someone said, okay, silly question, but I need to know, will Ignited Bonnie still punch me in his jump scare, like straight up lights out, TKO my ass? Nixon replied saying, you can't have Ignited Bonnie not have a punch jump scare animation. So fret not, <laughs> loyal viewers, Bonnie will still punch you in his jump scare. That is a breath of fresh air. Honestly, I could end the FNAF news video here. I mean, this is great news. Moving on to Pop Goes Arcade. Recently, Kane Carter revealed that trading cards and badges are now available for Pop Goes Arcade on Steam. You can also buy some emojis and profile backgrounds in the Steam Point shop for Pop Goes Arcade. And it seems that Kane is also working on some animated profile pictures. He posted on Twitter a few animated avatars and frames that we could see in the future. One of Black Rabbit glitching out, another of what appears to be a index styled profile uh, avatar frame, and another one that is actually the arcade machine and your profile picture is inside the screen. Next up, we have the official Pop Goes Arcade OST soundtrack coming to platforms like Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon Music, and a whole bunch others. And finally, in regards to Pop Goes Arcade, we have another update coming out pretty soon. The new update will include power surges, which are robot equivalents of corruption hotspots, basically areas in the environment where you can get higher spawn rates for enemies. The escape ability is now affected by stun. This new update will bring faster battles. So the animations of the battle UI are faster and the delays between your turn and the enemy's turn has been shortened. So it looks like more stuff uh, trying to lower down that grinding time, which I appreciate. Also, while we're talking about Pop Goes, let's go over quickly the Cam 7 teasers we got in the game for Pop Goes Evergreen. Kane officially made a tweet and game joke post saying here's a good look at the server room, aka Cam 7, for Pop Goes goes evergreen as it appears in pop goes arcade now he actually posted the image that has blake off of his charging stand but we do get two other glimpses at the server room in pop goes arcade one is of course having blake on his stand in sleep mode and the final one is of well, let's just say a not so pleasant day at the <laughs> in the server room. So if you missed it, those are some evergreen Easter eggs and teasers in Pop Goes Arcade. And actually, speaking of Blake, I'm killing these transitions. We have an update on the Blake fanverse plushie from Funko and also some other fanverse plushies, Pop Goes and Candy. Kane made a tweet saying, Can confirm that the Blake plushie leak was real, but it's unlikely to release in October. It has some problems. I also received a new photo of Pop Goes the Weasels as plushie and wow, it's good. Phil called him a handsome young man, which is a pretty perfect description. Now, if you're wondering what the issues are with the Blake plushie, we don't have a concrete answer, though Kane 
did leave a funny reply to someone who said, how much do you guys want to bet they based it off of the original design instead of the evergreen design? So I think it's pretty likely that <laughs> that's the issue. <laughs> but I guess we're just going to have to wait and see what's going on with these plushies. They're supposed to come out pretty soon. I'm pretty sure it's around September, October time that we get them. And the fact that we were supposed to get them revealed to us a couple you know, months ago earlier this year and we still haven't gotten a look at them is a little concerning, but hopefully we can get that reveal soon. Next up, we have quite a few quick fire merchandise news, so let's just go through them pretty quick. First up, we have a Walmart exclusive tie-dye spring trap figure. This guy was apparently left out of all the promotional images that Funko released when they actually revealed the tie-dye wave, so he's up on the website store uh, right now for Walmart if you want to go pick him up. Next, we have a new figure by U2s, which is actually sold out right now. I apologize, I got to this pretty late. But it was a gold chrome Freddy figure that was only available for exactly 24 hours. Originally on his packaging, it did say Golden Freddy and a lot of people pointed out like, hey, that's not actually Golden Freddy. Thankfully, U2s did reveal that they are in fact working on a proper Golden Freddy U2s figure, so we're gonna have to stay tuned for that. Then we finally got revealed to us the Freddy and Foxy plushies by U2s, which completes the FNAF 1 plushie wave. And also, in one of Daco's videos, he actually showed off a brand new figure being made by U2s, which is the Purple Guy U2s figure. As you can see, a very interesting take on Purple Guy. It's actually his human form, but half of his face is the 8-bit sprite we see in FNAF 2. It also looks like he's supposed to be holding something behind his back. I don't know what's going on there. If they're trying to censor him having a knife, Come on, guys. Are you kidding me? I really hope that's not the case, and I hope, you know, something was just left out of the concept materials. Because if his empty hand looks like that on the final product, I will be one angry boy. Yeah, that is a look at the new Purple Guy figure. What do you think? Were you hoping it was just going to be an 8-bit sprite? What do you think on the human take of William Afton? I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about this figure in the comments down below. Also, not really FNAF news, but FNAF YouTuber news and still YouTube's news. Fellow FNAF YouTuber Fusion Z Gamer got his very own U2's figure. I believe it's still up in the store right now, but I also think it's selling pretty fast, so if you want one, you better go pick it up quick. And finally, for today's FNAF News video, we have one of the strangest products I've ever seen come out of FNAF, I'm not even lying. It's another U2's one, but it's not a figure, <laughs> it's not a plushie. Have you ever wanted a Vanny mug? Because on the U2's website right now is a silhouette of a upcoming FNAF product by Funko, which is a mug, but it's molded to fit Vanny's face. I don't even know how to describe this. This is, this is so strange. Honey, bring out the fine china. Pretty soon we're going to be sipping tea out of Vanny's face. What is going on? What is this product? But that is all the FNAF news I have for you guys today. Like I said at the start of the video, we got another FNAF news video coming out very, very soon. And also I want to pump out a anniversary predictions video before we actually get to August 8th, which if you don't know is FNAF's eighth year anniversary. Freaking crazy, eight years. So stay on the lookout for that and so much more. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you all on the flip side and goodbye.